Well, Alan mentioned whiteboard videos, and we know that whiteboard videos can provide a tremendous solution to allow you to educate and entertain prospects. So don't worry. If you lack video, as many of you do, we have an answer. We have a solution for you. Just in case you're not intimately familiar with whiteboard videos, on the next slide we're going to talk a little bit about what we mean by that term. A whiteboard video, in our opinion, and there are dials that you can change to um, you know, refine this to make it custom to your agency and your needs, but in general terms, a whiteboard video is a two to three edu minute educational video. It leverages whiteboard animation, like in the example shown on the screen. I often uh, refer back to the old uh, UPS commercials with the gentleman drawing images and pictures and phrases on the whiteboard as uh, kind of the basis for this concept. They usually leverage a professional voiceover, someone speaking. They usually leverage background music behind that person speaking. So you not only have the animated video, you have a voiceover music. And of course, maybe most importantly, your video, script, and images should conclude with a call to action. Uh, what are these videos about? Well, we always suggest you have a value proposition video on your website. Explain to something, what, so explain to prospects what you do and why it's important in hopefully two minutes or less or product concept type videos explaining what you do to help your clients with their workers comp mods or to comply with government regulations for benefits or transportation regulations etc. Alan anything to add about what we use for our whiteboard video concepts and how they work for our clients? Absolutely. It's very important to compare and contrast a whiteboard video from a recorded webinar. Now, many people came today to our webinar. It's a live webinar with a Q&A at the end, and there's a propensity for people to expect, you know, yes, I will spend 20 to 30 minutes uh, listening to that live webinar. Uh, conversely, we strongly recommend people don't do one-hour webinars unless there's a very specific reason because they're so long for people to listen to in that format, in that venue. Consequently, with whiteboard videos, the, the key, or other types of on-demand videos, the key is to make them short. And toward that end, John, what do you do with our 20 or 25-minute webinars uh, after we are done recording them? What's your, what's your best practice? I cut them up into video vignettes, typically two to five minutes long, depending on where we have breaks in the content. Uh, but my goal is to make them two to three minute chapters showcasing the content of the webinar. And that's a great, and of course, then you can tag them with the appropriate keywords that you want, and they go up on YouTube and they go up on our website, and it all funnels into getting exactly the information prospects want as quickly as possible in an interesting way.